Hey, so this is a new channel called Boxes of Foxes and it is primarily aimed at females aged 13 to 17 who are going through school and puberty and basically like the hardest years of their life and I just wanted to make a channel where I can help people through those tough times um, through life advice videos and how to survive school and also reviews of like high street products and just I just wanted to have like a really girly channel where young girls can feel safe and I can give advice on how to get through certain stuff and hopefully it's going to be really really fun. Um, it's going to be like product reviews and maybe some cooking tutorials. Not that I'm very good at cooking. This channel is hopefully going to have everything from school essentials to how to deal with period pains to friendship advice. I just wanted to make something where people could feel safe and happy and just have a nice little corner on the internet where I can just try and help as many people as I can. Hopefully, hopefully I do that. This is going to be a really, really weird sentence, but if you don't think the content that I've described will help you in any way, um, please don't subscribe to this channel. I just want this to be a place where everyone that is subscribed can get something from it. I just want this to be completely different from my comedy channel. So if you think this is going to help you, that's really awesome. I hope you enjoy the content. Um, if you don't think this is your thing, then... I don't know. So to start off this channel, I just wanted to make a quick video on school bag essentials. Stuff that is practical and stuff that you should just have at the bottom of your bag for emergencies. Obviously you're going to have your textbooks and your planners and your pencil cases and your spoons. I don't know about you, but I certainly couldn't get through my day without a set of assorted dessert spoons. So first off, I wanted to actually recommend a school bag to you. Um, this is not sponsored, I found this in Paper Chase and I loved it, so I was like, I'm gonna pick it up even though I don't go to school. Um, and I actually use this like every day. It is a backpack that is like, when it's full, it's, it's a completely square backpack. It's got a handle on it so you can carry it like that or it's got straps on the back. And it's just really, really adorable. And I know that if I went to school now, this is what I would use every day. It's big enough for like big A4 folders. And it's just it's just really, really practical. So I will put a link in the description down below if they still stock this. Otherwise, seriously look at Paper Chase backpacks. I didn't know they did them. And it's just, it's really practical. Backpack advice with Emma. Yay! So the first thing that is on my list of school bag essentials is a bottle of water. Um, why, I hear you ask? Well, simply just to keep hydrated. It is a well-known fact that if you're in any way dehydrated, you will not be able to concentrate on anything as well as you would if you were hydrated. So basically, if you're thirsty, you'll find it a lot harder to concentrate on what your teacher is saying, and all of the lessons kind of won't sink in as well. So it's just good to, you know, just have fluids on you. You're supposed to drink like eight bottles a day or something. It's not eight bottles, is it? it's eight glasses. Big difference. This is not a nutrition channel. Now the second thing on my list might seem a little bit out there, a little bit wacky. Um, you should carry around literally just a pack of like 10 biros. Just keep this in the bottom of your bag because how many times you go to a lesson and you've lost your pen and then you're that kid asking around in class, has anyone got a pen I can borrow? And you always end up with this tiny little pencil. It's just frustrating. Also, if you carry around a pack of 10 pens, you've got some when other people forget theirs. So spread the love. You would never hear me say spread the love on my main channel, would you? And basically when you do get down to like your last two or three pens, get another pack and just carry that in your bag. It's just never ending pen story. I don't know what that means. What's the never ending pen story? We all lose pens, we all drop pens, we all lend pens and never get them back. So make sure you always have some with you. Simple as that. Now the third thing on my school bag essentials list, and this is why I say the channel is primarily aimed at females, um, carry around some sanitary towels. You, you just, you don't know, okay? Some people might be giggling right now. Oh, she said sanitary towel. But seriously, for real facts, you may come on unexpectedly. You may come on early. Someone in your class may come on early and they really need your help. Um, you can get these, um, which are tiny little boxes, little tin cases that come with certain packs of sanitary towels. So you can literally just keep two in there at a time. Simple as that. I mean, I put them in the wrong way because I'm rushing, but it is as simple as that. Just close it up, simple. Like, it's discreet, no one really knows what's in it, apart from the fact it says always, but I mean, who's looking that closely? To put it quite simply, you're protected if you come on unexpectedly, and you can help out people who have come on unexpectedly and don't have any 
because that's the worst thing. It did happen to me at school. It will probably happen to you at some point. So prevent it and have these with you. I can't believe the first video on this channel is already talking about periods. I am on a roll. Item number four on the list is pretty simple. It's just a pack of tissues because you never know. Honestly, you never know if someone's gonna have a cold and they need to borrow a tissue. Well, borrow, don't let them give it back. Seriously, if just five people in every class saw this video and started carrying the stuff around with them, like, how many more people could we help? These are just such simple things to think about and they can help, like, all of your friends around you. Item number five is just some antibacterial hand gel. This was 75p from Asda. Like, you cannot go wrong. You literally just tie a little bit in your hand, rub it, your hands are dry, and now they're clean. Um, Schools are a great way of spreading illnesses and bacteria because we're all in close contact, we're touching tables that infected people have touched and you can help prevent like things like colds and just viruses really, really, really easily if you just use this on your hands every now and then because God forbid you'd ever want to be sick and not be able to go to school, right? Right? Yeah. And the last item on the list, which I'm not too sure I should be telling you to bring to school, is some fresh mints. Um, I would say Tic Tacs, just because I prefer Tic Tacs personally, um, not sponsored. Number one, don't bring gum to school. If people find out you have gum, they will use you, and they will take all of your gum, and then you will be gumless. No one wants to be gumless. Well, I mean, you'd be gumless if you had these, but... You, you get my point. These are also a lot more discreet than gum. Your teachers won't have a go at you because your mouth is going... You know, you can freshen your breath whenever, um, especially if like you've had a bad lunch, you know? People won't go, oh, your breath stinks, mate, like they do at school, or at least that's what they did to me, because my dad used to make me garlic sausage sandwiches. Don't ever have them. You will be hated by your friends. School tips. So those are just six things that I wish I'd brought to school every day. They probably would have prevented some seriously awkward situations from happening. Um, and they're just really, really simple to keep at the bottom of your bag and just forget about them until you need them. So hopefully this was helpful to you. I'm gonna really try and upload frequently on this channel. I really want to. Um, I'm not gonna have a schedule because I am the worst at keeping to schedules, um, if you know anything about me. Make sure to subscribe if you wanna see more content like this and hopefully I will see you on this channel very soon. Bye guys. I don't know why I do this. It's creepy. Stop doing this.